So, what's the car like to drive? Um, I find it pleasant to be fair, I think it's a nice car to drive. Um, it's got a hydraulic steering rack, which is a bonus I always find, as opposed to an electric one. It gives you a lot more steering feedback, a lot more steering feel. Um, it's responsive enough for all responses, nice. Um, if you've drove one of these, they have massive, massive turbo lag, below 2000 RPM. So if you test drive one, you'll, uh, you'll, you'll see that. Uh, you can get the engine them remapped, and this one's remapped. It's I think they're 177 brake horsepower standard. This one's running 220. That does sort a lot of the um, low end lag out, but as I say, generally below 2000 revs, you're um, you're not going to have a lot of power at all. Uh, it's got a six-speed manual gearbox. Uh, probably one of the worst geared ratios in um, a car I've driven. To be fair. Um, First to third, it's all okay, but as soon as you hit six gear, it's literally useless on UK roads unless you're going above 85 mile an hour. Um, as I say, it's don't know why it made it that way, it's more like an autobahn car. Um, so that's probably the main fault with the car, really, is the gearbox and the gear ratios. The gearbox itself is, uh, is lovely, it's, it's great to use every day. It's just that six gears away, so you're only going to be using five gears, really. But um, as I say, if you drive one of them cars, you'll know exactly what I mean by that. Um, but yeah, the drive's nice. I mean, this one itself is the F Sport. This is running on 18 inch wheels, and um, for UK roads, it's, it's a really nice car to drive every day. I have, uh, I have no issue with it. As I say, you get all your toys. Um, it's about £60 to fill up a full tank. Um, road tax is £150 a year. I mean, this one, this has got an EGR valve and DPF delete. So you'd think the economy's better, but I still get about 30 mpg. I mean, now I'm averaging 31 tank average 29.8 but I'm only generally doing inner city driver at the moment to be fair I'm not doing any motorway stuff so if you're doing motorway stuff I mean you'll probably get mid 30s but no more than that I know some of the quoted figures on paper and 40 or 50 odd but as I say if you own one of these cars you're not going to get near that figure um, but fuel economy aside I mean it's, it's a good reliable car I've had this since October last year now no issues with it whatsoever I've done a fair few thousand miles in it it's been a bit been a solid car. Um, not much to say also off the drive really, as I say. I, I this is my daily driver and um it's I wouldn't wouldn't swap it for anything else at the moment to be fair. I've had a few BMWs in the past and things like that, but um I, I really enjoy the Lexus now to be fair. Nothing I'd um, I'd swap to. A few other things about the cabin, um it's a really nice place to be. It's nice on a long drive to be fair, it's a very well built car I find. I say you, you do generally get that with your Lexus, which is uh, always a good thing. Um, but yeah, it's a nice place to be. It's quiet, seats are comfy. Um, steering pos driving position is really nice. To be fair, you sit quite low down on the car, which is uh, which is always nice. Gives you a sporty feel. Um, this has got memory seats in, so the seats do quite go quite low. It's also got electric lumbar support, which is uh, which which is nice to be fair because obviously. You want to be comfy when you're driving around every day, don't you? You want to, don't want your back to be crippled. Um, not sure what else to add, really. I mean, looking here, the passenger side has also got memory seats. So you've got memory seats in both your front and back. You've got front heated seats. Um, another thing I forgot to add as well, this car. Um, it's obviously, I mentioned, it's got an EGR blank and a DPF delete in the exhaust. It also got the fifth injector removed because one of the reasons why these cars have bad economy is uh, they have a fifth injector which squirts fuel into the exhaust um, and that gives you pretty much bad economy really. It's more of an environmental thing to it. Um, something to do with emissions, I'm not sure on specifics. But um, as I say, if you get that fifth injector blanked, um, it, it, it does improve your economy a fair bit. So that's something to be uh, mindful when looking at these cars. As I say, this engine is the A2.21. Uh, it wasn't originally an Alex a Lexus engine. It was uh, it was out the Toyota, uh, the A2.2 engine. Um, I think it was in the Aventus of the same era. But uh, these engines as well, they are prone to head gasket failure. So that's something to look out for. I know this car, I mean, I'm on now 143,000 miles, sorry. And uh, if you look at the paperwork at this car, the engine was replaced at 80,000. So, just something to be mindful of. As I say, I'm, not, I'm sure it doesn't happen to all cars, but it is a um, it is a known fault with some of them. So, just to make sure when you're viewing a car, check your oil. Make sure there's no all yellow gunk and things like that, and any signs of uh, the head gasket going. 
Right, onto the interior. It's a keyless start, which is always nice. You have your push start button here, which is a um, clutch down, press that. The steering wheel comes out, so it's got a memory steering wheel to set your position for you, which is nice. Clocks do a little swish, you probably saw it then, which is quite nice. Uh, storage, you've got your armrest, which goes up. Fair bit of storage in there, USB auxiliary ports, 12 volt cigarette lighter, plugs to charge your phone, so it's pretty nice. Little cup holder here as well, which is good. Another cup holder here, which I tend to put shoes, keys, whatever you've got on you. Uh, memory seats as well, sorry, not memory seats, heated seats, which is a good little feature. As I say, they go up to three different um, temperature settings on them. More storage here. And um, getting onto the implement system, this one has the GPS, Bluetooth and all that. But this is a 2010 model. I know previous models um, might have been 2010 onwards. I know the 2006, 2007, 2008. They didn't have Bluetooth or they may have had Bluetooth, but you can't play your music through them. So just something to be mindful. If you look at these, these have like flat face buttons, but you'll see other head units in these cars. They've got like a kind of rubber effect button with like a raised section. And I think they're the models that uh, don't have the solid Bluetooth. So, but yeah, as I say, you get your maps. Um, what else have we got? Telephone integration. Um, vehicle, if we got one here. I think this shows you maintenance and things like that. Yeah, so when things are due, engine oil, for example. I changed the oil myself recently on this, so I've reset that. Um, brake oil, tyres, as, as I say, there's loads in here when you get your air filter changed and whatnot, which can be handy. Uh, what else? Climate control, you've got dual climate control, which is nice. Obviously, you can set the temperature on each side if you've got a passenger. Aircon, aircon on and off. Um, display, just changes display and brightness settings, basically. But yeah, I don't really use the um, sat nav in this now. M most people use Google Maps, don't they? But, um, also, the audio system in this car is absolutely fantastic. It's a Mark Levinson sound system. Um, and I think it's got about 15, 16 speakers. I mean, I've had BMWs with Hardman Cardam systems. I've been in Audi with Bose systems. But this Lexus Mark Levinson system is absolutely fantastic. It's got a um, speaker tweakers at the front here, in the door. And I'm not, as I say, I'm not sure where they all are, but there is about 15 speakers on this car. But uh, the sound system is absolutely fantastic. I can't, I can't speak highly enough of it, to be fair. Um, obviously, you've got your F-Sport seats. Uh, they don't come in most cars. Obviously, only the F-Sport you get them, which are really comfy. They offer a nice side bolster here, which is nice. Um, glove box capacity. As I say, I've just got some glasses, books and stuff in there, but not loads of some glove box capacity. Um, what else? I mean, the dashboard, I like the way it's integrated. You see a lot of cars these days have to pop up um, like screens. I know BMW and Mercedes have them. Now, I don't like that. I prefer it's all integrated like this. It just seems a lot more driver-focused. The old uh, Mi 46 BMW series had these, and are just, just something I really like about cars. Um, mileage here, as I say. See the mileage it's done? 143,000, fair bit. Tank average, as I say, 29. It's not, not great for the 2.2 diesel, is it? But hey-ho. Uh, current MPG, average speed, Outside temperature, range, trip computer, things like that, and obviously average 31. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much that for the interior really. I mean the steering wheel, it's got a nice feel. You've got your buttons on here, which are handy. Obviously, volume, switch your track, change your audio mode, answer calls, things like that. Uh, this one's got a little F-Sport logo here on the steering wheel, which is a nice sporty touch. Um, trash control on these, probably not relevant to people, but the trash control on this can be turned off but it always comes back on above 30 or 40 mile an hour i'm not sure which one which is quite intrusive if you obviously like to drive with the traction control off um metal pedals down there as you can see quite a nice sporty touch um but yeah as i say for the air uh, the cabin that's pretty much it really you've got your back seats there's not a whole lot of leg room in the back seats to be fair um as i say i've been on a long journey in this up to scotland and it wasn't the comfiest but as i say it's pretty much um that's that really but yeah that's the interior pretty much so right little walk around to the exterior of the car then as i say this is the f sport model it's a nice uh, like a pearlescent white color which is nice to see if you see it in the um 
see it in the dark it, it goes like a silvery color which is really nice running the standard f sport 18 inch wheels which are nice decent size brake caliper there as well uh, not too sure on the specifics of the brake disc dimensions and things like that i know this has got padded discs brembo pads euro car parts um, seems to stop pretty nice to be fair no issues with the braking system um, coming on to the front as i said you've got you've got xenon headlights in these which is only on the f sports so you get your washers uh, i've put a hid kit in this so you've got just nice contrast nice with the uh, the bluey look i think these are 8000 k hids so fog lights as well um, but yeah as i say with the car i think it's a really good looking car to be fair if you look at it as i say it's aged quite well i mean this is a what 2006 design now so i'm gonna say it's 2020 um it looks still still looks pretty good still looks pretty sporty as i say them wheels sit nicely in the arches i think um you have your sport decals here as well just to see on your front arch a bit of grass there from some spirited driving um but yeah as i say it's a nice uh, nice car from the rear electric folding mirrors as well for point out if I just unlock the car you'll see they fold in and out which is quite nice they light up of a night as well you won't see that during the day um one thing to distinguish these from the is 250s as well is the exhaust at the back you can see this has got classic diesel drooping down exhaust uh, the is 250s have twin twin exhaust at the back you'll see them so they're easy to differentiate between but uh, yeah as i say the exterior of the car they're really solid nice paint job on these as well it doesn't seem to swirl or scratch too easy things like that so um but yeah as i say it's a nice side profile um boot space as well something i should add isn't it you have a key here on your key sorry a button on your key which opens the boot which is quite handy so one thing is the rear seats don't go down which is quite annoying you have this one compartment which goes through obviously so you can poke things like golf clubs or whatever you're there, whatever you've got through um storage space isn't huge but as i say it's not too bad it's only the same as your rival bmw's makes things like that so yeah it's your boot space um it doesn't soft close either so you've got to put it down quite gradually which is um annoying soft close it like that a little thing there you've got your rear camera which is a nice addition obviously your reverse camera so rear parking sensors another weird thing on this car is as well you don't get front parking sensors you only get side which is really really strange so obviously if you're driving into something here you've only got side parking sensors so don't know why lexus done that but yeah but yeah these you can pick them up i mean on auto trader now you can literally get them 1500 quid an is 220d between they're probably between 1500 quid and about eight thousand pounds if you want a low mileage f sport model um but yeah as i say i wouldn't um, you probably get a good example three and a half four grand in fairness um things to look out for if it's only if it's low mileage and it's old it's only been doing short runs so you're probably going to get egr and dpf issues with them clogging up of carbon um on this one i pay 350 pounds i got the fifth injector removed dpf um dpf removed from the exhaust and the um, egr valve blanked so no no sort of carbon build up issues now that stops all of that as i say a lot of things in these i'm in the lexus group on facebook Erico p2002 things like that where obviously the car just gets clogged up with carbon over the over time and it goes into limp mode you get your traction control light coming on so uh, it's a bit, a bit of a pain for owners so just something to watch out for really um as i say earlier engines are prone to head gasket failure um apart from that i mean if you get your dpf and egr issues sorted they're a pretty solid car in fairness um this has got xenon headlights i've had an issue with one of the ballast blocks at the front but it's nothing critical is it you know what i mean you get a new one ebay for about 40 50 pounds sort that out um but apart from that as i say it's it's a great car i've had no issues with it whatsoever um i'm on auto trade every day and there's nothing i see that i'd swap it for to be fair i'm looking at like F, F series bmws things like that but I mean for the money if you get a well spec one of these you can't go wrong you've got everything as i say sat nav bluetooth integration you've got your power supply ports heated seats memory seats reverse camera all kinds of buttons cruise control as i say it's just a great car as i say main thing to watch out for is the egr and dpf issues but it's, it's nothing you can't sort so um but yeah as i say i'd, uh, I'd highly recommend one of these cars it's pretty much pretty much it really i'll leave it there nothing else to add